Hello and welcome. Here's what's coming up on Pride today. Taylor Swift announces a highly anticipated new tour. We have all the details. Plus, we have a brand new interview with Daniel Durant on his strides on Dancing with the Stars. And our Rachel Chateau is chatting with one of the judges from Call Me Mother. Hey everyone, I'm Ricky Cornish. Thanks for joining me as we take a look at stories making headlines. Taylor Swift has finally announced what will be her first tour in five years and fans are giddy with anticipation. There has been significant speculation as to how exactly Swift would approach a new tour, having released a whopping four brand new albums in addition to her re-releases in the years since she last toured with Reputation in 2018. Well, now we have an answer. Swift has decided to embark on an eras tour described as a journey through all of her musical eras of her career. For more info, head to pride.com. And we have an exciting new interview with Daniel Durant. The star is bringing amazing representation to Dancing with the Stars. Here's a look. You've made it to the top eight. People are rooting for you. What has this journey been like for you in a quick nutshell? Really? Wow, it's crazy. Every week, I have to learn a different dance. I feel like they, we started with slow dances and now they're getting faster and the faster songs are harder for me. So I have to make sure I have to move and speed up and slow down to the tempo. And at the same time, it's so fun. I love it. Well, you're a total pro. And I know that we have 90s night coming up next week. Is there anything you can tease us? Yeah. Really, myself, I'm born in 89. So I'm a 90s baby. I'm going to try and bring that nostalgia to the dance floor. It was important for me because it's when I was adopted and it's where I started learning sign language during the 90s and meeting deaf people and finding, growing my deaf culture within myself. So all of that happened during the 90s and it's an important time for me and that made me who I am today. So beautifully said, my friend. Well, I have to tell you, it has been such a win seeing you represent the deaf community on Dancing with the Stars. So I have to imagine that you being this voice for the community must be so humbling for you. Really, looking back when I was growing up, I'm from a small town, Duluth, Minnesota, and I had no deaf role models in person or anyone to hang out with. So people would let me know and I found out about Marley Matlin and how she won an Oscar when I was a kid. And I always kept that in the back of my mind because I figured if she could do it, then maybe I can do it. And now I'm in my generation and I'm being successful. So I understand what deaf children feel like and how they need to see somebody. So I'm using my energy and my time as much as I can to represent for all of us so they can see us and be successful, whatever they want to do, whatever they want to become in the future, they can do it. And finally, it's time for another interview from Call Me Mother. Our Rachel Chateau is catching up with Fahrenheit. Let's take a look. I must congratulate you on season two of Call Me Mother. How does it feel going into this season versus how it went with the first season? Uh, it's super exciting, I think, because uh, season one was a framework, right? We were piecing all the pieces of the puzzle together and sort of building it sort of as we went. We knew kind of what the concept was, but a lot of things happened along the route to the, the finale. And this season, we sort of walked in knowing what the goal was, how it was going to run, the expectation. Um, and then so taking that and just sort of leveling it up because it's season two. <laughs> well, I mean, that's the thing, right? Like when you do a sequel, you got to go to the next level. The level of diversity and uniqueness in the artists that auditioned and got on the show really uh, elevated what we did. My name is Ricky Cornish. Thanks for joining me on Pride today. Check us out on Advocate Channel, streaming daily on YouTube.